Hello and welcome to day four of Starlink ownership here in the UK, south of the UK to be exact, South Cambridge. And I gave you some feedback. So starting off with some morning speed tests. And we know from the last few days that Starlink definitely runs better in the morning. It seems to be an early riser and it sprints out of the blocks. So we've got a couple of things coming up today. I'm gonna to show you a comparison of the Starlink router, which is still sat here. However, I did plug it in today to use it for a little while. Um, and I'm also gonna talk you through how to set up the static IP so that you can use that on your, or use Starlink on your normal router without having to use that little thing there. Now the side-by-side -side comparisons are very interesting and they'll, towards the end of the video, if you don't wanna watch me ramble on and mess about a little bit, then feel free just to jump and see those speed tests. I'll do them side-by-side -side so you can watch them. I wanna say a massive shout out to Rob Jones who helped me with some of the network and stuff today. I am so bad at stuff like this. Actually, if I was employed as the technician, uh, electrical architect, internal guy networking person for this household, I'm sure I would have been fired by now. In fact, my wife is right on my case because her Zoom calls keep crashing out and I get it in the neck every single day. So thank you, Starling, for the amazing upload, amazing download and get me in trouble. So moving on for that, I'm gonna show you how I accessed the static IP and how I put that in for my router, which is an Asus GTAX 11000. Now I just wanna say also that this doesn't come without its problems, and I'll explain that shortly. So first of all, you go to the LAN tab, and then you go to root, and I showed yesterday, during my day three update, the IP address I entered, which I believe was uh, 100.1. You also need to add in 100.24. And these are the two addresses that the satellite dish uses. Now where I've hit some problems, I have a dual ISP now set up because of the issues we've talked about. So I've got my old ISP still running into the router and I've got Starlink as my main. Now what happens once Starlink drops out and it jumps onto the other ISP, it seems to stop these static routes working. Now, what my reliable friend Rob Jones has recommended is to ditch the second ISP going into that or use a spare router for that as a backup network. And that shouldn't be an issue. Now, the way I've overcome that problem is by deleting the IP addresses and then putting them back in again and applying them and it seems to work fine for a few hours so it could be a number of things be it the IP address that changes with the Starlink system I don't know I'm not really good with that sort of stuff as I've said I'm holding my hands up and if you do know the answer to that I'd love to hear please share and also on that note I want to say thank you for the messages from all over the world actually on these little videos that hopefully do help some people or at least entertain some um, I find them really insightful. The, the information is being shared in terms of technical. Um, as I said, it's, it's a learning for me, massive learning, and one that I'm sort of embracing. So now moving on to the Starlink router versus the Asus in terms of speed. Now this was a little bit of a surprise and I measured this on the AX and I don't know whether the Starlink runs at AX Wi-Fi 6 or not. And it was measured on an iPhone 12, so it was wireless. I don't have the ports or the capacity to do LAN tests. So it's all on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now this is interesting. I, I wasn't expecting the results to be so different. Again, this isn't a huge technical claim or anything like that. This is pure real world experience. And as you can see, the Asus runs a lot faster than the Starlink one. So I'm more comfortable with my own router and my own settings and the stuff that I've already put up and built up in my network and I didn't really want to include the Starlink router and actually now I've tested them side by side and it's not any better. 
In fact, it's worse in terms of wireless performance. I'm, I'm more than happy to try and bypass the stats pages and all the other things that I'm currently facing to, well, have a faster internet, which is why ultimately I got Starlink moving from my slow country rural fiber to cabinet to a space age futuristic satellite dish. So there you have it, day four conclusion is learning. Tons of learning, tons of dropouts. It's amazing that Zoom drops out a lot. It's amazing that voice drops out a lot. The downloads are incredible. Uploads are mind blowing. I love it, despite its flaws. I do love it. So I wanna say thank you for joining me today. I hope that's helped a little bit. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one. And I will catch you later.